The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your wonderful host. And of course, it doesn't matter where you're at. You could be in Tallahassee. Or, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, uh, Tipperary. Two towns that begin with a T. It doesn't matter as long as you're here. At this time, the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got the S&P off about six. It went down to yeah, about 14 or 15 earlier in the day. Nasdaq's off 21, although uh, everybody has gone to the whip uh, on Apple today to try to hold these indexes higher. Uh, doesn't look good. Uh, fairly thin when you look at a lot of these stocks. Um, there's a lot of short squeezes and a lot of stocks rolling over. So we'll go through some of those. But uh, we'll go through the highlights out here. The bonds have been flashing some warning signs. After being weak in the morning, uh, the Fed had gone out and uh, put some money to work. We'll probably see the headlines of that in the next couple of days. But uh, they didn't like it to when it started getting below uh, 140 five-ish and threw some money at it so we'll see just how much money they're willing to uh throw at it my guess though is that the announcement uh for the next fed chief tomorrow is what everybody's been telling me uh maybe we see something up anyway uh tlt's up 54 cents uh still uh below the line and you know i don't see anything that changes my Opinion that uh, when it broke below 146.50, had the blow off top at 151, that really you're in a bigger trading range at least down to 141. And uh, I think we're probably going to see that over the next week. Um, but of course, uh, it's aim, shoot, or shoot, aim at the target. And of course, uh, as I said earlier in the week, I thought that uh, either the comments or the numbers were going to be uh, weak on Walmart and Target. That is the French version of Walmart. Uh, TGD is down uh, four and a half percent. They were only down like a one and a half, two percent pre-market. Um, gives you an idea just uh, how indicative uh, uh, the open is because it quickly sold off uh, to four and a half, five percent most of the day. Some of the other uh, big stocks out here uh, we'll talk to today. Um, Roku, um, down significantly, down 11% on the day. Um, I said for years that I couldn't figure out how anybody came up with the kind of multiples. Uh, and no one had really ever torn this stock apart or, or the company apart to actually see uh, how anybody was coming up with uh, the numbers they were. I thought they were insane. Well, we had an analyst come out today and try to put uh, some metrics on it. Um, you know what? They were. When you actually dig in and see what uh, analysts were predicting on this to make it work, it was pretty astronomical uh, for these video and demand uh, ad sales. Um, and I, like I said, I... It's hard for me to watch anything with a commercial anymore. Uh, I'm just wondering how many other people did. Well, I, for what Roku has been doing, they're at least an order of almost an order of magnitude less on selling those ad uh, uh, free uh, movies with ads. Uh, at least they're on demand, but you know what? You're still watching the ads. I think the, the more people get uh, into a Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Disney Plus world, 
it's farther and farther from watching ads that most people don't want to watch. Um, one of the clues, and I got kind of a whiff of this when Roku came out, but it wasn't as strong. Uh, the flavor wasn't as strong as it's been in the past. But generally, the first thing I know on a scam is an analyst talking about the total addressable market. Uh, they'll say the TAM. And that is probably the uh, word that makes me want to run the most or think that it is a scam. Uh, generally, they'll say, you know, if just 1% of the people bought this, uh, then uh, that, you know, just 1% of the total addressable market. Uh, generally, a good indication that uh, that is a scam of some level, and whoever the analyst is or whoever the huckster is, is uh, selling you a bill of goods. Because if the product is that good, they're not talking about 1% of the total addressable market. They're talking about a fairly decent amount. And, of course, uh, we'll get to some of the other stuff. Got some questions about Tesla we'll get to. Uh, NVIDIA. Um, and arms holdings. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that uh, NVIDIA is going to uh, t uh, talk about the NVIDIA is going to talk about uh, this uh, after uh, with earnings tonight. Uh, let me get back here. Uh, in NVIDIA, he did type it correctly this time. Uh, NVIDIA down two percent pre earnings. Earnings come out at 420 today. Um, hadn't been acting well, so I'm a, I'm suspecting that one or two things. Either everybody's short in this thing, um, which I wouldn't recommend, or that someone actually knows that this uh, Arms Holdings uh, acquisition from uh, England is going to blow up. Now, in the last four or five days, there's been a lot of news from England, uh, the U.K., about this being a, uh, a bigger deal. And I think what they're really talking about uh, is having one more chip company under the uh, Taiwanese flag uh, and why NVIDIA is a U.S.-based company. They're thinking, well, do we really want to have yet another arms, uh, uh, another uh, chip manufacturer? Uh, and, of course, Apple has been throwing huge amounts of money around because it doesn't want NVIDIA telling them what to do. It's been ma mad enough that it has to pay Qualcomm for all the intellectual property those guys have worked on for 30 years. Uh, Apple kind of got a, a weird idea about how every should, everybody should bow and scrape in front of them just for the privilege of having uh, uh, business with uh, Apple. Um yeah, I think they're probably finding out it's not as easy as they once thought down there uh, in the Austin to uh, Dallas corridor of technology. Uh, as I've said many times, uh, RF or radio frequency stuff, that's the dark arts. That's, uh, that's stuff that you just have. And maybe you're even born with it. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like Dale Earnhardt knew that how to see the wind in drafting on Daytona. Uh, it's something that's an eight. Uh, very few people can learn it. And, of course, Qualcomm snaps up all those folks uh, as quickly as they can. We'll be back in a minute. We'll do some history. We'll move on. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we uh, as we uh, come back, uh, did I get everything? Uh, no, one more thing. Factoid, six hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, six hundred fifty million dollars a day. Uh, if we want to come, if we want to compare what it was just a year ago today, I found that this. I think it was in the Wall Street Journal this morning. Uh, gas prices, and this is not heating or natural gas or. Anything else? Just gasoline, not diesel. Just gasoline. Six hundred and fifty million dollars a day more every single day uh, is going for gasoline uh, than it was just a year ago. Um, a lot of ideas that uh, if we can just make gasoline higher, uh, people will quit driving. Um, doesn't really seem to have worked. Does seem like. Uh, it, it is a massive amount of money to take out of uh, people's pockets going into Christmas on a, uh, a, re, uh, a belief that I think borders on a religion. But uh, that is just my opinion, and they don't listen to me. But $650 million a day on higher gas prices. I thought that was very interesting. So let's go to a little history and then we'll go on. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Oh, we got a question. What is the reason prices went up worldwide? Because the United States decided to go from a net exporter of, uh, of uh, crude to a net importer of crude uh, for a political decision. Okay. Um... There was a lot of expansion to be had. We could have uh, been drilling a lot, employing a lot of people, but, uh, uh, you know, elections have consequences. Uh, you can decide whether they are right or wrong. Um, anyway, I don't believe a lot of people. But uh, that's a nat me. I'm a natural skeptic, but not a cynic. On this day in 1970... Douglas Engelbart receives a patent for his XY position indicator for a display system, more commonly known as a computer mouse today. I've brought it up a couple of times over the uh, 
last 11 years, almost 12 years now, of being on this show. Uh, Engelbart called his device a mouse because, of course, a cord came out the tail. And maybe they don't look as much like that anymore because some of them are wireless. But anyway, of course, the cord looked like a tail. The mouse was first prototyped in 1964. I talk about this a lot because the Macintosh uh, people, uh, and especially Steve Jobs, would lie about inventing all this stuff. He would go into Xerox Park uh, circa about 1979 and 1980 and see a lot of the stuff that Xerox uh, uh, Park was working on. Uh, they came out with a similar system in 1981 that really didn't go very far because they didn't build it uh, to sell to the masses. They only thought about uh, eh, people at home would never own a computer. Uh, but, of course, uh, if you listen to Steve Jobs, he was always good and long on the bull. Uh, I think you have to look at Mr. Musk uh, as trying to uh, be in his mold. Yeah, 85% of Steve Jobs, 90% pretty good. Uh, the downside with Musk is he uh, blabs about a lot of stuff uh, that just is never, ever going to happen. Uh, but uh, eh, what can you say? Anyway, uh, as we've said many times before, people call up and yell at me, especially Apple heads. Oh, that is so untrue. But uh, if you go on YouTube, you can see the video from 1968 showing literally everything that was on the Macintosh in 1968 on videotape with Douglas Engelbart uh, in a demonstration of technology. Um, but, of course, uh, yeah, 1968. Um, da, 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 Apple first bought the mouse to uh, brought the uh, Apple was the first to bring the mouse to a personal computer with the Lisa in 1983. Also incorrect, and a lot of people would repeat that. Uh, there were other computers, although again, bigger uh, mainframe style computers that had them. However, the mouse did not become ubiquitous until 1984, which is true when the Apple Macintosh popularized the device. And of course, uh, 1970. Patents uh, added, uh, it would take, well, what, 14 more years to really become ubiquitous. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Okay. Uh, we're off uh, 12 points on the S&P cash. Uh, just been a kind of a weird market all day long uh, as uh, generally the same thing happens, uh, at least a pattern, I believe. Uh, that I continue to watch, and that is Apple. Uh, if you want to sell everything and you're a big street name, what do you do? Well, you buy Apple. Single stock, you can drive the entire market with it. And while you're doing that, you can sell literally everything else. And from what I can tell, kind of what's going on here, it's Target tries to bust through a 5% drop on the day. Um, and a lot of highly shorted stocks um, are actually popping, which is not uncommon for highs either. So you want to keep an eye on that. Um, option market makers have not blinked all week. They think we're, uh, they're worried, let me put it that way, of a big surprise to the downside. I've heard a lot of uh, other things, including uh, uh, whoever they're going to appoint uh, or try to appoint, see if it makes it through Congress, uh, for the uh, Fed chairmanship. Um, but uh, I guess we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to hear that. Everybody thinks that they know it is, who it is already, but uh, un unclear exactly who that's going to be. Uh, Apple, a lot of volume today, no. Uh, back up to a previous high. The last one was on the 28th of October. That had 100 million shares. You got about 62 million shares. So let's say you do 80, you're going to be off 20%. Uh, uh, and if you go back even further, there was 140 million shares down on the 10th of September, 141 million shares into the 60. So um, is this uh, kind of this driving them? We talked about uh, options for Apple, and it all looked like about 152.50 uh, for Friday. I don't think that that changes, other than them driving the shorts out today. I would look at uh, probably 
buying the puts. Uh, but we'll have to see how this works out. That Generally, Apple is one of the most predictable stocks on options expiration, but I'm going to wait until it gets a little clearer, probably not play them until Friday, if at all. But generally, uh, it is a good sign to either have the thing up uh, on Friday mornings and buy the puts or have it slam down and buy the calls on Friday when you can get them for like 10 or 25 percent. You normally get a fairly decent move into what options are predicting for expiration. But uh, big pop today, eh, not that excited about it. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, got a question uh, about a few stocks. One is Tesla, the other is Roblox. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And it's going to be an important close today. Went to a higher high, didn't have light of volume. Uh, we pulled back. Um, it's rare, but not unheard of, to see a market lower end of options expiration so we could uh we can keep an eye on that uh just does not i mean the internals don't look good can they drive microsoft and apple up a few points to keep the nasdaq up but yeah yeah but uh you know uh, nasdaq still off 33 
Uh, the big news here is the Russell off uh, 1.2% on the day. Uh, crude oil down a bit. Um, there's actually a lot of these uh, wells that have been capped because crude wasn't expensive enough, came back online enough to put some pressure on the crude. Uh, gold's uh, up 13, still holding well. Um, silver up 15 cents. Uh, the Bitcoin is uh, still holding 60,000, 60,061, excuse me, 60,316 is the last tick I see on that. Uh, as I said, uh, looked uh, like they're trying to support the bond market into the announcement tomorrow. Um, some fairly significant amount of cash coming in there, um, but really not spilling over into the markets other than Apple. I didn't see anything in Apple's news that really justified everybody hopping on it today other than the fact that I think that they're uh, running a lot of the shorts out of Apple. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of little stocks like that. Um, okay, the first one is uh, Tesla. And of course, the pattern I like best for these kind of stocks is exactly what's developing here on Tesla. Uh, I will not predict exactly where it is. I've talked about where I think it is. And that's about 1175. Uh, this could uh, actually drive up even in a down market. It is, in fact, more likely to go higher in a down market uh, than it is in a down market. But uh, 1175, probably where you're looking for. Uh, but what I'm going to say is this is the double repo pattern from Joe DiNapoli. I love it. It's 10 to 15 days and sometimes more above the 3x3 three three displaced moving average, which is fairly close to a 9-day moving average. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look what it would look like if it was just a 9-day moving average. You've got that. So we're closing over it even on a 9-day. The 9-day is just a little smoother. It doesn't uh, uh, react as fast as the 3x3. Three what I like about the 3x3 three three is it does give you a, an idea of what you're looking for. But uh, if I wanted to short Tesla, uh, this is the best pattern I know of for shorting ballistic stocks. Uh, but uh, what you want is the next uh, short or uh, the next time that it closes below the 3x3 three three displaced moving average. So next close under 1050 you'd want to go all out over it. Now, that can continue to start moving higher over the next couple of days. I would not be surprised to see this thing expire at uh, 1070 or 1175 or 1160 or something like that on Friday. And then the next move below that uh, line is what you want for confirmation. And uh, no, I wouldn't have any problem pulling the trigger on this if it does that. Now, the 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 thing here is it hasn't done that yet, so you don't want to do that yet. Um, what you can do is if it gets up there on Friday, you got light volume or something. Uh, if you wanted to, if, you know, the problem with this is that the uh, options are ludicrously priced uh, or have been. I'll look and see what they are on Friday. Maybe they come down to nothing and then you go ahead with uh, options in the future. The more this thing goes higher, the more the chance you have that somebody's going to cough up uh, some puts at a decent level uh, for on the cheap. But uh, eh, they've been kind of expensive lately. But uh, that's what you're looking for. Hadn't done it. Don't pull the trigger yet. Wouldn't be prudent. Doing my little George Bush imitation here. Wouldn't be prudent. Nah, nah, nah. But goes up a couple of days, closes back below a 3x3 three three displaced moving average. That is the best pattern, and that would bring you back to where I think this is headed. Just uh, when is the uh, question, and that is somewhere around uh, 775 to 800 bucks. And it just may be because there are so many other companies flooding this market now. Um, I suspect the Ford F-150 could take up to half of the business of Tesla's uh, in the, the United States as that starts really rolling out. Uh, people like the big vehicles, and if they're electric, eh, so much the better. Um, 
<laughs> uh, question out here is JP Morgan in a top. Um, I've said this before. I hate trying to actually pick tops in these because guess what? These guys can come out tomorrow, get 20 guys together, and I'll tell everybody that this is going to the moon. And all the analysts uh, raise the uh, target to uh, 250 bucks and blow you at any trade. Uh, so I dislike it, mostly because uh, you know them and Goldman Sachs are cheap propagandists. Um, so they can always blow you out of these. I think they're the least um, predictable in that vein. I always wait until they do do that before I ever even can contemplate saying that I would go short something like this uh, but or calling for a top because it invariably uh, they come out with some kind of BS. And I've got a very good BS detector, and it's almost always that. Um, the last time my BS detector went off as big as this was with uh, Twitter uh, when they all told everybody back up here at the highs um, into 80 bucks that uh, they were going to have this newsletter business that was going to absolutely save their bacon. Well, they're down with 10 million shares into a 14 million share low. They haven't broken that 49.12 yet, but I suspect they could in the next couple of days. And uh, I think that social media has a social disease, uh, but uh, that's just me. Let's take a look at the fascist book, or as I like to call it, the Metamucil. Uh, as everybody wants to call it meta today. A rose by any other name would smell the exactly the same. And I get a particularly foul odor from meta, musil, platforms, or Facebook, however you want to call it. Uh, but uh, you know what? Uh, kind of a, just a bounce, I suspect, in a downtrend. Uh, could be the next month, the six weeks, Maybe the first two weeks of next year, most uh, 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 watchers of the uh, Justice Department are looking for antitrust stuff to come out on these guys. Um, they've been going at it for a year. Uh, the other side of this is a great case just developing from uh, one of the uh, uh, Jack Kennedy's sons uh, for restriction of trade. That could get into uh, Facebook uh, acting as a state, uh, a state act. They're using uh, 260. Uh, Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Come back into it. Uh, of course, after the bell, we've got NVIDIA. Cisco probably going to do okay. Uh, Huawei's still reeling, uh, CSCO, uh, from uh, the issues it had by uh, trying to hack literally everybody in the world. And of course, if you're owned by the Chicoms who could take you out into the, uh, into the uh, rice fields uh, and kill you at any time, yeah, you'd probably do it too, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, they uh, they aren't uh, evil incarnate uh, in what they're doing. Of course, we do the exact same thing. Uh, we just it would be very stupid to allow that uh, Trojan horse into, and we did for a while into uh, the United States. I still don't understand uh, the idea unless someone has some pictures and some compromising videos of why anybody in the U.S. administration would allow them to continue with the uh, apps that we know are always siphoning data off, but they do. Like I said, uh, compromised or stupid? I don't know which one is worse, but I can't understand why you would do that. Uh, anyway, um, NVIDIA, Cisco, kind of tonight. Sonos, and eh, what do you got to say on that? Not much else going on that. Now, tomorrow morning, also before the bell, we've got a few more. As we said before, it's a little bit of uh, uh, to seeing what's going on in China. Alibaba, JD.com, and, of course, we've got a little bit more of retail that I expect to do poorly. Macy's, uh, Kohl's, uh, Canadian Solar, eh, don't really know how well that's going to do. I did look at that. Uh, so we don't have much. And then, of course, after the bell tomorrow night, Applied Materials Workday into it, uh, Palo Alto Networks, uh, William Sonoma. Eh, that's kind of it. So keep an eye on those. Okay, so did I get the rest? Uh, IWM. I am not a bull here uh, going into Thanksgiving. I suspect um, that we have a perfect storm of bad news coming our way. We shall see in the next couple of days. But I think uh, mostly uh, if you're betting on the IWM, you're betting on fuel prices dropping significantly. You're betting on the interest rates not going higher. You're betting on the... Uh, Long Beach uh, 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 shipping issue to evaporate overnight. And it's literally been getting worse, not better. We've gone over the last two weeks from 12 days to offload a ship to 17 days to offload a ship. That's not going to get to us by Christmas. So a lot of the comparable stuff is going to be incredibly hard out here. But that uh, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But, uh, you know... Do you have lighter volume? Yeah. 
But uh, a lot of times you really need something a little bit more out here. And once you start breaking through a, you know, pretty much here, 235 and below, I suspect you will see the volume start to increase. Um, so far, a light volume pullback, but I never liked the volume uh, other than the breakout day. You know, it, 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 just looking at so many stocks out there, they look like blow off tops. 877 Uh, what else do we have? Um, Uh, okay, Richard says, I've worked in the car industry and the EV. I agree you someday Tesla will trade for 50 bucks a share. I remember when uh, General Motors was king, Ford was king at one time, Chrysler was king. Uh, just when the public wake up and how stupid they are about Tesla. Um, you're buying 30 years of what they say they're going to grow right now. I don't know how you do that. Um and not call this a blow off, uh, a not a blow off top, but a uh, a bubble. Um, certainly, we look at uh, other companies that are coming out now that haven't sold 10,000 cars, worth more than Toyota, worth more than everything else, and they're all based on battery technology. Uh, how many hard drive manufacturers went away in the 1980s? How many other companies in the early part of the computer revolution went away? I think uh, Tesla eventually gets bought by yet another company. Uh, but, of course, when it goes down a great deal more. So the question is just when does it give it up? If you were uh, in the uh, tulip mania of Holland in uh, uh, 1610 and tulip bulbs were selling for the price of a house, I would have been selling every tulip bulb in the world and getting a house. We know that it's worth something. Even in a depression, people still need some place to live. Eventually, that will sort itself out. But, uh, yeah, I don't understand trying to buy stocks uh, at astronomical highs. Uh, stocks at highs can always go higher. Stocks at lows can always go lower. So there's always a case to be made on a bigger fool theory either both on the high side or the downside. But like I said, I suspect that from the Rivian uh, and also from uh, Ford, uh, a few other things. In fact, I saw just yesterday several new BMW uh, little uh, EV cars uh, on the road. Uh, they're, I forget what they are called. They've been out for a couple of years, but it's the first time I've seen any. Doesn't mean that they uh, haven't been around. But uh, I think we're going to start really seeing the flood of those. It, it, Tesla got a honeymoon because of the pandemic, and a lot of these cars did not come out when everybody thought they would come out. But they're starting to come out now, and they will have the same teething problems that Tesla had. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got uh, cars like uh, um, that are hydrogen-powered from Tesla. Uh, they are back with uh, version 2 of those, and I think – you know, at a range of 650 miles, um, not a bad value out there. I do like uh, electric vehicles. If you didn't have to uh, have so much money, a twenty or thirty thousand dollar battery pack, at that point it becomes just like a buying an airplane, and that is you buy an airplane and you get a few flakes of bearing material in the oil. And guess what? You're at 55 grand because you've got to overhaul the motor. Same thing with the cars. Uh, battery pack starts going bad. Tesla's going to charge you 25 grand. And, you know, why it doesn't matter in the next few years, you know, car engines can last 300, 350,000 miles if you buy a Toyota these days. That is an awful lot of times that you can just not drive somewhere. But if you don't have batteries and your car's dead, and the single price means that you've got to spend 25 grand, I just don't see it. Uh, I much like, uh, much rather see hydrogen cars where I can overhaul the uh, the uh, fuel cell for 1,500 bucks or a thousand bucks. Much more like the cost of an engine. 
and uh, not all around 2,000 pounds of batteries. But that's me. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. <laughs> And as we uh, come back uh, for the rest of the day, uh, yeah, uh, MasterCard down 3.3%, Visa down almost 6%. It can't be good. Uh, and again, it's not the technology part of the market which is holding us up today. But there's a reason why the markets are acting weak. There are a lot of stocks like MasterCard and Visa uh, that are significantly down. So uh, just keep an eye on those. In fact, you know, you had some decent volume and you just gave it up. But a lot of this, from what I can tell, was a lot of heavy shorting. And they just ran everybody a little bit early to the party. If you didn't sit on your hands, uh, you're probably back in the uh, green on some of these short positions. But uh, keep an eye on that overnight. Uh, watch NVIDIA, Cisco, uh, after the bell tonight. Um, see if anything's going on with them. In the morning, keep an eye on that TLT. Uh, wait for the announcement tomorrow uh, on uh, the new Fed chair. I think that kind of just wraps it uh, up. Uh, again, uh, we probably should have had two or three billion more shares 
uh, back up in the highs. We're only doing about seven and a half billion right now. So if we get to 10 billion, that's kind of big. Uh, breaking out to these new highs, I think we probably should add 13 to 15 billion, and we didn't come anywhere close. But uh, you know what? Well, we'll see. But uh, you know, having this big of downside action in so many stocks, and seeing uh, a handful of stocks like Apple holding everything up, always makes me start to wince, and the hairs on the back of my neck stand up a little bit. Uh, but uh, you know couple pushes higher out here it's the clothes that matter so hang on and uh ride through it with uh, tom o'brien in the next hour as always so when you can not when you have to we'll see you here tomorrow same bat channel same bat time <laughs>